Welcome back to Performance TV. We have a great thing to show you today on how you can move a vehicle around in the shop, outside without having to have the factory wheels and tires on it. Now, when would you run into a situation like that? Well, let's say, for an example, you own a body shop and you've got vehicles, different ones coming in, damaged wheels and tires. What do you do and how do you move that vehicle around if you don't have those particular wheels and tires or while you're waiting for those to come in? It's tying up your rack in the meantime, but that's why we have Sergio here with us today from Goonie Wheel. Now, Sergio, how in the world did you come up with this idea? The whole idea and the concept came when I've been in the auto body shop industry and the wheel repair industry for many years and I just had that instinct going to shops finding cars that were dead couldn't be moved and they needed some mobility right how did we get cars off jack stands how do we get it back to the ground and how do we keep cars moving which increases production obviously increasing production is increasing revenue well you know you mentioned jack stands and something that I noticed about the the Goonie wheel we've we've got it it's mobile it's up off the ground we can still work on it if if we need to without it being on a jack stand which can be dangerous that's right um, and it's a high risk and you know on the high-end cars nowadays it's also difficult to find a jack point so it becomes a guessing game for the technicians out there. This eliminates that guess. You put the Goonie wheel on, you drop it back down to the safe ground where all cars should be, and you know you've got a car on the ground and it's safe. Okay, so we have our Mustang here, which you know we've got our, our five bolt pattern, but this particular Goonie wheel does how many different bolt patterns? Yes, this is a Goonie wheel 45. So this will cover your four and five lug patterns from 100 PCD all the way up to 137 PCD. The center bore on this specific wheel is 65 millimeters, so it also covers the majority of the center bores out there. What's it made out of? A mild steel, same material they use to make trailer wheels, uh, spare wheels on cars, and the outer rim is basically a solid rubber, natural rubber, so it's non-marking. It will okay. not leave any black marks you know, on the shop floors. What's the weight rating on the Goonie wheel? It does weigh 34 pounds, and it has the rate capacity of two and a half thousand pounds per wheel. Okay, so 2,500 pounds per wheel. Per wheel, yeah. Wow. Say you've got a really nice car, not, not just for the body shops or, or shops like that, for you at home that has a nice vehicle, it's going to sit for seven months because it's going to be in storage. That's right. You could use something like this and then not have flat spots. This is perfect. Um, I do it on my boat. You know, I'm stored my boat away for the winter, put the Goonie wheels on, took the original wheels off, stored them away. Not going to get flat spots, not going to get dry rotting on the sidewalls. Perfect tool for storage. When I look at it, and you mentioned the natural rubber, uh, it's, it's not smooth. I, I see there's some like notches on That's there. Now, what, what would that be for? Yeah, so, you know, I, I had to bring safety into it, you know, safety first. So I designed the wheel that it could have safety strips that it's almost like a warning signal. As soon as you go over five miles an hour, it is going to vibrate. The car's going to vibrate, and you're going to know you've got Goonie wheels on the car. And you're going to know you've hit that five-mile mark. That's right. Slow down. Slow down. We do not want you to go anything faster than five miles an hour. So you have the 45. That's right. And I also see that you are working on the prototype we have here for the five and six lug. That's right. Yeah. So this is the bigger wheel. This will cover your bigger SUVs, your pickup trucks. This will have, as you can see, it's got a much bigger center bore of 110 mils, and it's got the PCDs at 135 and 139.7 and 155. So that will cover a wide variety of our SUVs and pickups on the road today. What are you expecting the weight limit to be? Probably two and a half thousand pounds plus. Uh, we are going with a four millimeter steel on this one, okay. where the Goonie 45 is a 3.2 millimeter. So this will have a much, much heavier load rating. And you also have it covered as well. If people have great big brakes on the car, you have spacers that are available and so much more. You can go to their website at GooniWheel.com and see what they have available for your ride and find out more about the product. Hey, that's all we have time for on this week's Performance TV. If you have a product that you would like to see featured on the show, just send an email, sponsors at masterstv.com, and we'll see you next time.